Okay, guys, today is Friday the 13th. Yep, kind of spooky, but we're just doing some Legend Lost Sectors. Just trying to get some loot, man. If you're looking to get the exotic gauntlets, Concealed Void is available today. Now, it's a good chance you're not 1250 power, which is why we're making this gun right here. I feel like I have one of the best builds for doing this. I mean, it's nasty. Now, first up, if you have not checked out our legendary Lost Sector guide for the Lost Sector Exodus Garden 2A, feel free to check that one out. That's for the helmet. Concealed Void is for the gauntlets. And again, on Legend, there's a rare chance of getting these exotic arms. And then on Master, that goes up to Common. But if you can already do the Master version of this, well, you don't need to watch this video. Let's talk about our build, though. We've changed things up, and this is actually how it's going to be for me. I'm pretty much any character I rock, although I do feel better on my Titan. We are taking advantage of sign ramparts yet again. That barricade is so clutch, dude. Being able to shoot through your own barricade, especially with everything around you that could possibly one-shot you. These exotics are so good. But let's go through a few things that we're rocking here. First up, Patron of Lost Causes. You don't have to use this one. I am rocking it, though, as my role comes with rapid hit and experience explosive payload this lost sector does have overload champions and barrier champions so i am actually slotting overload rounds for scout rifles for that disruption against overloads now for my special i'm rocking ariana's vow number of great things here this one actually has the catalyst this is to handle not only barrier champions but also shielded enemies that are solar which there are a few of and our third and final weapon is our trusty guillotine now let's go over some of the mods because yesterday's build we went over a bunch of warmind cells how we were synergizing warmind cells taking advantage of bottom tree sunbreaker it was nasty today though we're relying more on our exotic armor and more on our gunplay as well as our sword so first up let's start with the helmet i'm actually taking advantage of hand cannon ammo finder for more ariana shots reactive pulse this actually keeps me alive when i go in to push in for an attack with my sword as it states when you take damage while surrounded by enemies you emit a burst of damaging arc energy it does consume one stack of charge with light underneath it though is probably the most beneficial one gain a powerful overshield while performing your finisher this is really, really nice because normally, even at my level of like 1226, I'm not doing enough damage to completely kill that overload champion. So having a finisher available to finish him off, plus getting an overshield on top of that in the process will keep you alive. Now, our Cyan Ramparts, we've got a couple of things going for us here. First up, of course, overload rounds for our scout rifle. To the left of it, though, is Focusing Strike. Grants class ability energy when you damage a combined with a melee attack. That's not bad, although I will say you could swap it out for bolster and detonation, which I would recommend more. These are new mods added this season, both of them contributing though to that class ability, which with science is extremely beneficial. And of course, we're stacking this with protective light, just in case we do find ourselves in a sticky situation. Protective light allows you to consume all your stacks of light, but giving you significant damage resistance. And if you've noticed, my resilience isn't quite max, but it's close. 97. This greatly reduces our barricade cooldown. Like it shows it right here at 17 seconds. If you get it up to tier 10, you can get it down to 14. Now, our other mods, I've got some hand cannon reserve mods, which is fantastic. Stacks on stacks. And for the mod that I actually utilize to gain those charges of light is empowering finish. Considering we're actually finishing off opponents, this actually grants us our stacks of light. And again, you can always end up using a finisher on trash ads. It doesn't just have to be champions and still grant yourself charges of light. Now, our final set of mods here at the bottom, I've got Got a couple of things going on number one surge eater you recharge your grenade ability whenever you or a member of your fire team disrupts a champion fantastic for those back-to-back -back grenades i'm also rocking thermal overload which makes you think of only solar but actually solar and stasis grenades cause disruption strong against overload champions and the final mod there is lucent blade while charged with light dealing damage with the sword gives you bonus sword damage for five seconds consuming one of your stacks of light. Also, it greatly increases the charge rate for your equipped swords. This allowed me to deal more damage to those overload champions. And again, most of the overload champions that I took down, I took them down with my sword. Now let's talk about the Lost Sector. Kind of like yesterday's Lost Sector, you gotta be kind of methodical with Concealed Void. There is an overload champion in the beginning. I'm actually taking advantage of two ways to stun him. Either my dust fill grenade or my scout rifle with overload rounds. I will say this, something that I really like to do 
is actually first shoot the overload champion with my scout rifle to pre-stun and then throw the dust fill grenade. Dust fill grenade has like this ability to stun overload champions twice because of the AOE effect and that time duration. Even when the overload champions like coming out of the stun effect, it like re-stuns them, which is amazing. It allows me to get in there with my sword, do damage and get the finish off there for the overshield on the end. The rest of this, you're playing from scout rifle range. All of this, you want to be methodical about it. Take your time with it. There is a barrier champion in this room right here who likes to peek in and out of cover, but take advantage of sight. Matter of fact, I never would peek unless I had a barricade ready. And the moment I would place it, I would extend myself around cover, break out Ariana's vow, and proceed to do damage from afar. I actually found Concealed Void to be a better lost sector because Exodus Garden had some really buggy ads. Like sometimes the ads would bug out and then suddenly they would spawn up behind you. It was really funky, man. Now there is a few overload champions before the boss room. Again, still use the combo of stunning with your weapon first and then proceed to stun them with your grenade. I do like my stasis grenade a bunch. Although I will say you don't have to necessarily use stasis. I'm sure like maybe a thermite grenade would do good as it's also got a time duration where it sits there and throws out those waves of fire so maybe it can too also restun overload champions thermites are a little more difficult to place because sometimes when you throw them they don't go where you want them to go and overload champions love to move but take your time here kill all the other ads and then proceed to deal with the overload champions now for the boss room the boss room will take you the longest out of everything here and when i say the longest i mean i'm talking maybe four three to four minutes i'm gonna find a way to possibly just melt the boss i'm thinking about trying a few things maybe melting point aka hammer strike stack it with loosen blade see if we can possibly just sort them down to death but just to play it safely i found just sitting in the back with ariana's vow popping a few shots off here and there to be the best method of reliably and safely killing this boss now there is a servitor in there that will occasionally shield this boss originally i would go in there and actually kill the servitor the problem is is that this lost sector just continually keeps spawning those servitors so even if you kill that servitor prepare to have to kill another one and another one and another one what you actually want to do is stay kind of to the left here of the entrance in that little cubby and this like pulls the boss to the left as well away from the servitor which is outside of that immunity allowing you to do damage to this boss again kind of slow but by far the safest and easiest way to do this lost sector and again if you got Zion ramparts this makes all of this so much easier so guys good luck if you are not 12 20 plus i would recommend not doing this lost sector or any legendary lost sector and especially not master lost sectors you can but i had somebody comment yesterday how they spent all night long just completing one of these lost sectors that is not a reliable use of time i would honestly say go after your light first go after your power levels do your primes get your power gear up but once you get to that 12 20 mark hands down you could definitely do this fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right